What is this? Pong? In deep space? Nope, it's Bit Trip Beat, exclusively for the Nintendo Wii. Bit Trip Beat is a downloadable WiiWare game that came out in 2009 and is the first installation of the Bit Trip series developed by Gaijin Games. The gameplay concept is similar to Pong, where you control your paddle by tilting your Wii remote, bouncing back any pixels flying your way. But the main twist here is in the beat. Every bouncing pattern supplements the game's chiptune style soundtrack, and if you can keep up your return streak, the music and retro visuals will evolve and follow your lead. Too many misses, and you'll be in monochromatic peril. As the game progresses through its three levels, the patterns of blocks get pretty crazy. Some react in different ways, too, like by bouncing back at you again, or freezing you for a second, or shrinking your paddle for an extra challenge. The boss battles are also really creative and pretty intense. Where's Mega Man when you need him? And even though there's only three levels, there's a pretty wide range of difficulty. The first level is pretty approachable to anyone, but things definitely get kicked up a notch on the second one. And the third, uh, might make your brain hurt. A few more levels would have been nice, but I can't complain too much for its modest price. For a downloadable game, the high production value of Bit Trip Beat is a pretty big achievement. The retro aesthetic is a perfect fit for the gameplay, and the visuals can be pretty mind-blowing as the block patterns increase in complexity. Although sometimes, maybe a little bit too mind-blowing. I've definitely had some issues with eye fatigue playing this. And since you might spend a while having to memorize and retry the trickier levels, not to mention how addictive this game can get, you could very well end up taking a bit trip to the store for some headache medicine. If you're craving some old-school bullet hell action that's in rhythmic sync with pulsing chiptune, Bit Trip Beat is a trip worth taking. Albeit a short one, so don't expect a three-month tour of Europe. This is more of a weekend excursion. <laughs>